Hey all here folks, welcome along to a special Glasgow Celtic show. Uh, obviously we've not got any football to talk about because we're in the midst of a global pandemic. So this is episode 33 uh, on the, what date are we on now? Christ, I don't even know. 22nd of March, um, 2020. So... Like I say, this is a this is a coronavirus special. And what I've got up on screen here uh, is quite an interesting wee website I found. If you don't know about it, it's called Worldmeter. Uh, just type in worldmeter.info uh, in the search engine. Uh, basically, you got a lot of good start, starts in there. We'll get to the coronavirus updates in a minute. Um, but like I say, it's got a lot of stuff. World population buffs, as you can see, as I'm paging down here. Like, uh, it's quite interesting to see that the, the world population is the growth here is just crazy. I mean, you can see it moving there like constantly. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Welcome along. Uh, we're in unprecedented times uh, at the moment with what's going on in the world. Um, this podcast is it's not at all a wee bit off the norm, obviously. We're not talking about the football because there isn't any football to talk about. So, and obviously, this is a football podcast, but yeah, there, there's no point. There's no, no football to talk about because it's been suspended indefinitely. We don't know what's happening in the scene, but I'm not going to speak about the football anyway because that is secondary to what's going on in the world. I mean, this, this podcast eh, is just about the current situation. Uh, and we'll get to some of my thoughts on things later. There'll be things that I'll say during the podcast that people might not agree with. The, Everybody's entitled to their opinion, everybody's entitled to voice their feelings on the current situation. Uh, I don't, I'm no hope, I'm not trying to upset people, uh, but some, there, there needs to be some truths said. Uh, and I, 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 I like to be honest, I don't like to bullshit, and I see it how it is. But we'll get to all that later. We're, we're looking at this website now, like I say. Worldmeters.info, type it, type it in the search engine, and it comes up with all this interesting information. So we're going to click on the coronavirus updates, uh, which should bring up, like I say, the latest sort of figures. So this is obviously in the world at the moment. Uh, let's get this up on screen properly. Uh, no, 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 I don't want that. Right, so, I don't know why to scare people when they see this kind of stuff here, but it is, it is an ongoing situation, it is real, you know, so, we have to face it head on. Now, these are the current figures up to date as of 0120 GMT time. As you can see on screen, you've got 307,610 cases worldwide, which is jumped up quite considerably in the last 12 hours. Uh, I mean, current death and recovery rates here as well. Um, active cases. These percentages, I've been keeping an eye on them in the last 10 days. Uh, these percentages are pretty consistent. So as you can see, 189, 465 in mild condition, what the, what the authorities have been telling us, basically. Um, and 9,300 in a serious or critical condition. Out of 198, 765 infected patients. And you've got your other stats over there with the closed cases, etc, etc. Now, looking at the figures... Uh, I don't know. Um, I can't. I can't get my head around the whole thing. You know, obviously we're all the same. We, we don't know how long this is going to go on for. 
um, how many people are going to be affected, how many people are going to die. Um, what I think in the UK, I think the government's got things right now, but they should have done it a lot sooner. It should have been implemented as soon as the first case arose in the country. They shouldn't have dally dallied with it. I mean, I, I've done a lot of good things since, yeah, but the, they should have done it a lot sooner. The thing we paying people's wages, 8% of people's wages, uh, is a very good thing they've done there. Uh, so people don't have to worry about money if they do get sick and they have to self-isolate. Um, of course, within that package, they've not really included self-employed people, but whether they're going to do some for them in the coming days, I don't know. Um, because I know a lot of self-employed people who will be worried about their livelihood. And of course, they've shut businesses, restaurants, bars, gyms, hate the leisure centres, all this kind of thing as well, which is also good. Um, the thing, the, 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 these are all positives that are going to help reduce these numbers uh, and get put a lid on the situation. So I'm going to just bring that back up there so that you can see uh, actually what's going on. Now, I like to be honest, like I said at the start of the podcast, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of the, a lot of UK citizens, actually, um, who are not respecting the social distancing, who are not respecting the implementations that have been put in place in supermarkets, who are not respecting other people, other countries' implementation. Because I've seen a lot of things on why we UK holidaymakers who've not come home yet and. They're, they're, they're out in the streets and that, they're saying they don't care, they're, they're, a disgrace to the, they're a disgrace to the United Kingdom. Now, UK citizens as a whole are, fit, are good, are good people, yeah, but there is a lot of fucking stupid, dim witted people in this country who are out there, they earn their respect and social distancing, two metres, no hard, six foot, keep your fucking distance, right? This is where the podcast is going to get a bit, go a wee bit off the wall and people might get a bit fucking upset, right? I'm upset, I'm enraged, I'm annoyed. I can't even bother with people who, who are fucking selfish, right? You've got people going into the supermarkets, filling their trolleys up. Uh, yeah, we, we've all got families, right? I understand that, we've all got fucking families. But we need to look after everybody as a whole. And this is where the government like I say, the government are doing good things now, but it was, it's all been a bit too late. In the beginning, first case, they should have had a clamp down on supermarkets right away, said to them, look, one, one item per person, two at the max, I would say, none of that's just free-for-all shit. Uh, in fact, I would go as far as to say one item per person, two items for the elderly or them that's already sick. Right, and then everybody would have got a fair whack and a fair crack, and we wouldn't be seeing fucking empty shelves every time you walk into a supermarket because of these selfish cunts. Right now, I know that might sound a bit strong under the current circumstances, but there is so many fucking selfish people in this country, and there is so many fucking idiotic, stupid people in this country. You get into Tesco's and you get into Sainsbury's and you get into fucking Asda and they've put in, in, in place uh, these zones that you're supposed to stand behind when you, have, you get your shopping coming through. You stand behind the fucking line. You pack your bag and then you fuck off at the shop. And you don't abuse the fucking checkout assistant and you don't fucking abuse the staff and you respect the people around about you and you have your social distancing and you fucking adhere to it. But no... We have to, we in the UK and Scotland, Wales, Ireland, we have to have all these stupid illiterate cunts who are fucking selfish. Now I said I was going to be fucking honest and I'm being brutally fucking honest and I'm going to be brutally honest for the remainder of this podcast. I'm angry, right? I'm angry. I want to make sure my family and my friends and my 
people I know and care about are okay. But I'm not a selfish bastard. And I also want to look out for other people as well. So I'll tell you this right now. If I'm in a supermarket or if I'm out and about in daily life going forward, right? And if anybody, if I see anybody mis mistreating a fucking checkout assistant, a pharmacist, mouthing off, fucking taking too much stuff, then I'm going to say something to them, right? And I'll we'll worry about what happens after that at a later date, right? Because I'm not having it, right? And if mere people were to stand up to these fucking thick cunts, maybe the human race would have a chance, right? And we wouldn't be fucking looking at these numbers going up even further because these fucking twats can't just adhere to the, the only way that we can beat this virus, this epidemic, this pandemic. This was, this was always going to happen, right? It was, it was, people have been talking about uh, germs, viruses, etc., wiping out millions of people, right, for years, right? And now it's come to fruition, right? So, the people who just didn't give a shit, selfish bastards, like, they'll be getting told as far as I'm concerned. Now, that's my rant over. I'm going to get back to some of the other stuff that is important, right? We all need to stay safe. We all need to look after each other. And we all need to respect the social distancing. This could go on for a long time. I mean, we could still be sitting here in July, August this year, looking at the figures on the screen. Like, it could be up, it could be a million cases worldwide, right? It could be a million cases worldwide with 40,000 dead or 50,000 dead, right? Are we, are we just going to put up with these people, these selfish bastards? Are we just going to put up with that? Or are we going to stand up and fight against them? As one, well, I'm going to stand up and fight against them. They'll, they'll not get away with that shit. And, I'm a, and if I'm in, uh, in and around any of these people, I will tell them straight. Respect my social fucking distancing. Respect my fucking space. Stand back. Right? Cover your fucking mouth. Do not abuse the staff and the fucking pharmacy or in the fucking Tesco's or Sainsbury's or the shop. They'll be getting fucking pulled. Anyway, guys, a passionate guy about my football and that, yeah, but obviously we can't talk about that. But we're, we're looking at a scary situation at the moment. Um, do check out this website. Um, it has quite in-depth information as you can see um, I'll just bring this round a bit so these are the kind of statistics you can be looking at um, obviously Italy has surpassed a China with their total deaths which is, which is horrendous like it really is um, you can click in each country and it'll bring up individual information for each one. As you can see, the UK has got 56 new deaths. You click on the UK, obviously. Uh, it'll bring you up the UK figures. So we have 5,018 cases, 233 cases that have died, sadly. Um, again, these statistics are, obviously, they don't know of all the cases. Um, you can see the, the sharp rise there from the 29th of February through to March the 20th, uh, through to March the 20th. So you're looking at what 20 days. So it's nearly three weeks now, and you can see the, the how the cases have kind of just went up there. Um, it's kind of looking. So, I mean, it went down there for a day, but then it's jumped back up. I don't know why that's done that actually. If it's no. anyway, I, I, I'm not sure about that. Like, but that that figure, what we're looking at is obviously it gets to a plateau and then it starts to come back down again at the other side, and then we'll see what the government does about reopening the 
public places like pubs, clubs, venues. I mean, even even after this passes, I would say, I would suggest for for the safety of people that they do it gradually and they do it, they maybe do it over a, a, a longer stretch period of time, maybe over a space of a few months. Just to think, because we want to obviously keep a lid on the, the situation. There are, there is people that I've, I've read saying that they're looking at a, a antidotes and ways that they can cure the situation and get, obviously get something out there that's going to fight this disease. Um, because if anything else, this, this is unprecedented and any, anybody's, well certainly in my 50 years, unprecedented situation. It's not something like this has never happened before. Um, so if anything we can learn from it, which it's a horrible way to learn, obviously we sadly people are dying, which is terrible across the world. But we can learn from it and if anything like this ever happens again, I would hope that our government would, would be on it a lot quicker. As soon as they knew about it, uh, like I said earlier, they should have been putting in wartime type rationing on food like, straight away. Because you know people are going to panic right away and rush straight to the supermarket and empty the shelves. As soon as this happened, it should have been dealt with right away. And we wouldn't be looking at the case now of going into your local supermarket and the shelves being empty. Um, that shouldn't have happened. That makes me angry. Uh, and it probably makes a lot of people angry as well. The decent-minded people who aren't the selfish bastards, like 50% of the fucking UK population, I'm really fucking ashamed, really ashamed that people are so fucking illiterate and stupid that they think this isn't a, a serious situation. And the, the gravity of it isn't that serious. Why people have to be so fucking dim? I just don't get it. Um, it does seem to be a, a United Kingdom mentality uh, with some people. So it is frustration. It is annoying. It's very sad. But what can you do when you've got these clowns in society? Anyway, so check this site out, worldometers.info, pop it into your, your browser there. It is a very informative um, website. Um, I'll just, what I'm going to do before I go, I'm just going to have a wee look at the news website, just to get a wee update while we're here. Um, we'll look at the Scottish news, obviously we're in Scotland, we'll see what's happening with the current situation. Um, like I said, this is a Glasgow Celtic show, but it's a coronavirus special. Um, right, so what, what it's saying on the, the BBC Scotland news website here, the, we've got s seven cases in Scotland. Um, or seven deaths in Scotland, should I say. So, um, right. Uh, latest updates. So I'll go to the latest updates before. I'll be quick look on there now before I sign off. Um, uh, right, okay. But these are the latest figures. Total number, as you can see, Scotland's 373 confirmed cases of coronavirus, up 51 on Friday's total. Um, they're talking food and industry, food and drink industry, criticised councils for failing to protect food supplies. Um, right, what else have we got? You've got folks saying there you should go to the Highlands. 
which just makes a bit of sense because there's not many people going to be there. Um, right, it's not really giving me what I'm looking for, to be honest. It's got stuff about the exams being cancelled for the first time in history on the, the channel there as well. It's saying the schools will be shut till summer. Um, I can look at what the symptoms are in a minute. In fact, I'll look at that now. I think most people probably know anyway now um, how to protect yourself. Wash your hands, use a tissue for course, avoid touching your face. Right, we'll bring that around a wee bit. Um, right, these are all kind of things that people should know anyway. High temperature, cough and breathing difficulties are key symptoms. Um, obviously, if anybody has to self-isolate, it's, it's no the greatest thing in the world. But it is the safest thing for everybody else, your family concerned when about you, so that we didn't spread this virus. Most people will recover from it. Um, right. So, how deadly is coronavirus? 56,000, out of 56,000 patients, 6% become critically ill, 14% develop severe symptoms, including breathing and shortness of breath. The majority, 80%, develop mild, mild symptoms, fever, cough, and some may have mild pneumonia. Um, Saying there, most cases never counted, which makes sense because you can't obviously get everybody the populace. It's talking about how close they are to a vaccine. Um, obviously, if you think you have coronavirus, you can phone NHS 111. And if you've got a fever or a dry cough, which we know about, there's a new one that I've read about earlier about the sense of smell and losing your, your taste as well. Uh, they think that possibly could be a new sim symptomatic of it as well. Um, it's about taking your temperature. It's talking about the, how fast it's spreading. Hundreds of users have reported the world each day. However, the stock health agents may be one of, aware of many cases which we're all aware of. Uh, says after China, coronavirus is now spreading fast in many other countries. So you can see how it's showing you a graphic there. I don't know if you can see that up until the present time how things are spread or how oh, it's just flipped back again there. Right, sorry. So it had went till the date. Um, what will do if I go and then I can pause it when it gets to the end? There. All oh, right, it's jumped back up, never mind. Anyway, right. So, um, right, uh, that's probably, that's probably all we can, we can say at the moment. Oh, oh, oh I'd like to see, I'm, I'm not going to go over stuff again. That I've already said, but uh, it's no hard, right? It's no difficult to self isolate. It's no difficult to respect the social distancing. It's no difficult to not herd together in public places. It's no difficult to no spread your germs. It's no difficult to wash your fucking hands, you know? Um, all I'm saying now is. Just stay safe, people, away, eh? And think about your fellow human beings for a, ch a change, eh? Uh, we're, all, we're all in this together. Uh, it's not just... It's a worldwide fight against this disease, right? It's not just... It's not just, like, let's all be selfish and just think about ourselves, you know? So, pay heed to the guidelines that the government have put in place and respect your fellow human beings. Look after your families. Um, 
and we will get through this together. Okay, this was episode 32. It wasn't a, about football. It was about something that's affecting everybody worldwide. So everybody just think about, have a good think about how you can help defeat this disease, this virus, going forward. Okay, God bless. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll catch you the next time, guys. Hail, hail.